You're probably here today wondering what could go in a good beginner's toolbox emergency preparedness kit. It might be for somebody who just moved out on their own, might be for a teenager who's getting ready to move out on their own, or it might be somebody who just is completely unprepared in life and you'd like to put something together. So today I'm going to show you what we put together for our adult kids this year at Christmas as a beginner toolbox and preparedness kit. Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. When someone first moves out on their own, they're way more worried about getting a television, a coach, maybe a vehicle, getting the electric utilities turned on in their name. They're not worried about what am I going to do if the power goes out, or how am I going to hang a picture on the wall. Plus, when you're new, living on your own, you're usually on a fairly tight budget. So we have three adult kids that we thought, you know what, it's time we put something together like this for them. Here were the requisites. These are the things we chose. We wanted decent quality, we wanted relatively inexpensive, and we wanted to cover as much area as we could in less than 10-ish items. So we put together a tool bag and emergency power outage kit. So let's dive in. So the first thing we got, this was kind of the big, the heaviest, the largest item in it. I wanted a small socket set. So here's what I did. All of these are based on Amazon reviews. So I went on and looked at which products were reviewed the best from the community, the overall usefulness of each tool, and the inexpense of the price so we could get as much as we could for them. So this one I went with a quarter inch and a three eighths inch socket set. This has 40 pieces. It's made by EP Apollo, Apollo, and it was, it's like $29.99 Canadian, I believe, so it wasn't that expensive. I decided I wanted to keep it small so it could fit in this tool bag. This is what we started with. We didn't buy anything real expensive. We wanted something that didn't look you know, super tacky and nobody would mind throwing it in their vehicle or keeping it on a shelf somewhere at the house. So we went with this uh, Inco Super Select tool bag, dirt cheap, but the reviews on it were really good. So this was the first one we put in here. Everybody needs a socket set, whether you got to tighten or loosen something. So we started out with the, like I said, Apollo quarter inch, three eighths drive socket set, 40 pieces. So that fits in the bottom. It was the heaviest item by far. Everybody needs a multi-bit screwdriver. I really, really like the Milwaukee, but we decided to keep the price down a bit. I've had recent, recently pretty good success with the Craftsman hand tools as well. We went for the seven in one Craftsman multi-bit screwdriver, not super expensive. There'll be links to everything below, but I wanted to show you. So, you know, everybody needs one in a drawer to tighten or loosen a screw. You're always looking for one. And the best I can think for a compact tool bag is a multi-bit screwdriver so that you don't have to carry a whole set of screwdrivers. Next was a, we, my wife and I debated for a little while, probably more than they should, but probably as much as a tool review guy would, what would be the best all round type of pliers? Needle nose are great. Linesman cutting pliers are good, but I like these slip joint pliers the best. So we went with a two pack. So you'd have a small pair and a big pair. We probably could have went with just a single medium set, but this pack, the two pack with Craftsman was good. This lets you do everything you need to do with it. They're well built. They're an eight inch and a 10 inch kit and they'll fit. Once all this packaging's off this stuff, it'll fit down in and allow us to zip this bag completely shut. So then of course, what is the next thing? Well, a Craftsman hammer <laughs> every single time. This is what you're going to need. Now, I wanted something durable enough, so I didn't go with a little chintzy 12 ounce hammer. I didn't go with my big 20 ounce hammer. I thought a good in-between would be a 16 ounce hammer. And honestly, if you treat this well for around the house, it's a fiberglass handle made by Craftsman. This thing's going to last forever. And it was under 10 bucks a piece Canadian. So American's probably like a buck 50 or something. So that one gets thrown in as well. Then one more tool kit, and you're gonna wonder why this is in here, but this is a set of DeWalt bits. So it will, it has that uh, quarter inch hex shank on the back. It'll fit in perfectly with the multi-bit screwdriver. But one item I don't have here yet is a um, drill driver combination from DeWalt. We picked up just a little individual drill driver with a small battery that's coming for the kids as well. We went a little all out with that one because 
I just, I love having it. You could go with something a little less expensive, like, an, a, like a cordless screwdriver if you wanted to. Black & Decker makes some, Craftsman makes them, DeWalt, Milwaukee make them. But we went with this. Once this is opened up, it's going to fold over. It's a clamshell style. It'll fit down in that bag perfectly. And the only thing that you'll have to worry about is the drill. And we wanted them to have something. And of course, I'm a DeWalt guy, so that's what we went with. So that's the end of the tools. So that basically will do any of your kind of household issues. Anything that, you know, the uh, budding handyman, handywoman, and anybody who just like, you know, I'd like to tackle something. Now, don't forget the other important part, the other two important parts of this are confidence and skills. So once you give your kids these tools or whoever you give them to, give it to them with a piece of paper that says, hey, if you have any questions, you ever need to know how to do something, call me. I'll walk you through it over the phone or I'll come over and show you the first time so that you know how to use these tools. I know they're simple, but you know, Gen Xers, Millennials, Gen Zs, there's lots of people out there that don't know how to even use a simple hammer. So that's that. Now, next was a power outage kit. And we decided to combine these two. We may expand one down the road, but this was all about being prepared for both emergency preparedness and repairedness, home repairs. So the first thing that kind of fits into both is we picked the, it is the lever, the lightning lever LED headlamp. And it's a nice little one right here. Let me show you. It, So the first real emergency, the first real blackout or emergency preparedness item we picked for him was this lightning lever headlamp. Now I love the coast ones, but they were just a little too expensive to get everything we wanted for the kids. We kind of had that hundred dollar Canadian budget. So these were well reviewed, they were dirt cheap, and any headlamp is better than no headlamp in a power emergency. So get them, get them some batteries to go with it. Tell them to keep it in their night side table just in case. But this is great if you need to change a tire on the side of the road, if you need to, you know, get around the house in the dark, or if you need to navigate during a power outage. So we went with something small, compact, that would work on the next item we got here. And this is the EBL charger and battery combo. So first thing we did, let me open this up and show you. We wanted something, I wanted to get them both batteries and a small charger. So let me open this up. So this here is an interesting little charger from EBL. It'll, it'll charge four double A's or four triple A's. But the cool thing is, is it is a USB-C or USB micro right there. It's not a plug in the wall charger. It comes with a USB micro cable, of course. But what I like about this is everybody's got AC adapters. Everybody has USB hubs at home now for charging their smart devices. So this is just another item that you can plug in doing that. And then with this came eight double A batteries. The only thing we didn't get the kids were a few triple A batteries. We had a budget, we'll add to it next year, but I wanted them to have an unlimited supply of batteries because that is something you can always use for anything. So we have this. So now anytime, you know, if they need to put them in their headlamp, they can charge it up. If they need them for any device in the home, they always have rechargeables because that's the last thing you know, a 21 year old, a 22 year old moving out on their own the first time is gonna think about buying his rechargeable batteries. They're gonna go and get the cheapest ones from the dollar store. They're gonna blow up in something. They're gonna have a bad day. So there's that. Now, the next one was the HS160 power bank. It's very similar in design, pull that back so it doesn't get a glare, to all of the anchor ones that are out there. I went on, did a lot of research. This had a really high Amazon review and it lives up to, it's not like a lot of the knockoff items that don't live up to the capacity. This one here has 26,800 milliamp hours of charge. That's a lot. That will let you go away with an iPhone 13 Pro Max for a four day weekend and not have to plug it in even once. What's cool about this is it has USB-C out as well. So you can use this in a pinch to charge your AA batteries as well. I love having interconnected systems. Now, most kids are gonna have a throwaway power bank, maybe, if you're lucky, but this is a decent enough one that hopefully that'll last them a long time. And finally, this can come 
with a power outage or without a power outage, but I wanted them to have some dead simple fire spray, dead simple fire extinguisher. This I love. It's made by First Alert and it's called Fire Spray. And if you can use hairspray, if you can spray Windex on a window, you can put a fire out with this. Two years ago, I did a test video with my 10 year old twins at that time, and they each put out a fire in the backyard with zero training. This is great, it lasts five years. I'm sure it'll last longer than that. We've used it for a couple of barbecue flare-ups. It doesn't leave a mess like a powdered extinguisher. It's biodegradable. If you spray it on your steak by mistake, you can still eat your steak. It's just great to have a couple cans of this thrown in under the shelf, in under the sink, wherever it is, so that you can make sure it works. So I hope that was a good video for you guys. This was fun for Becky, my wife and I, to put together. I'll have all the links to everything here. I'd love to hear what you've put together for people who have moved out on their own recently. Or in the past, little, you know, get together packages or, you know, um, preparedness, blackout kits, first toolbox, whatever it happens to be. These are fun. I like it. Now, I'm not going to release this video till after Christmas. So you're going to be like, well, Tim, what was the good of that? Well, because I don't want to take the chance of my kids to see this. So I'm filming it now. You'll see this probably the last week in December. Hopefully it'll be there and it'll catch some traction on YouTube and hopefully it'll fill you guys in a little bit on what we did and come back and fill me in on what you guys did this year. So that's it for me this week, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a happy new year.